Back in Norma's Cafe in Farmer's Branch, Texas, a popular breakfast spot where home cooking and small talk are served up in a friendly, family style. Hey, do you guys want to go to the park? Maybe. After lunch? You do? Yeah. Well, only if I get ice cream. But this family is far from conventional. Cute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are they yours? They're ours, yeah. Oh, they're yours? Oh. Yeah. Are you sisters, or what do you mean? No, no, we are their parents. You're gay and you have kids? Yes. This waitress can't oh. seem to digest what she's hearing and seeing. It's bad enough that you're lesbians, but that they don't have a father, I think that's kind of bad. You don't feel uncomfortable, people watching you? Other patrons take notice, but they don't say a word. I mean, isn't it bad for the kids? The kids no, I, I think that we're excellent parents. What these diners don't know is that the gay parents, their children, and the waitress are all actors. We've coached them in commonly used discriminatory remarks. Will people in this conservative part of Texas step up to defend this non-traditional family? I just think it's terrible. I think they need a dad. Don't you want a We're dad? We're fine. But this man at the next table is not fine. I'm sorry, but you just being rude. rude. So, what do you mean you being just... rude? He escorts the waitress away for a time out and a lesson in Southern manners. It's completely inappropriate that when someone comes into a restaurant to have breakfast with your family that you question their life choices. I just feel like I'm entitled to, to my and opinion and I'm just uncomfortable. Opinion, but this is not the place where you need to voice your opinion. Okay, let me put the order in. I'm, I apologize. Still, it doesn't appear that the waitress has learned her lesson. Watch as she tries to get others to join her cause. Is it just me that's upset? That doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't bother you either? No. It doesn't Actually, bother your me. behavior bothered me. You don't think it's bad for the kids to not have no. a dad? No. So our actress decides to take matters into her own hands. Texas is one of 29 states where gays can be refused service. I think you guys should just leave because you've disturbed them. You're disturbing everybody else. You need to get out. No, I'm not leaving. I have to work here. No, I have to. No, you are by far the worst waitress I have ever seen in this restaurant, ever. You are a horrible person and you're a horrible waitress. Like, you need to leave. You need to physically leave this restaurant right now. Homosexuality and gay parenting are hot-button issues, particularly in red states like Texas. So we wondered, is this heroic intervention a fluke? Okay, everybody, we are rolling. Back in the dining room. Are you guys a couple? Yeah. And you're raising kids like that? Yeah, because there are two beautiful children. Well, they need dads. This time, the waitress is even more unpleasant. I'm not the one in public kissing all over another woman in front of my kids. That's not, I, I, I actually have morals and standards. Prompting this man to take a surprising approach. You believe in Jesus? Do I? What are you trying to tell me? Don't judge. <laughs> I'll never judge you, and I try not to judge other people. But the waitress doesn't follow his spiritual guidance. I mean, your parents to these little, these little kids, she's going to turn out gay just like you because you have no dad in this family. Distraught, he appears to be looking for a manager, but instead, he storms out the door. What is he up to? A few minutes later, Donovan returns and delivers this note. He says, hello, friends. I know it doesn't mean much, but I love you all. You have a beautiful family, and I pray that one person's judgmental intolerance does not in any way put a damper on your hearts or minds. In the words of MLK Jr., in the end, we remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Donovan. This actress, who in real life happens to be gay, is clearly touched beyond her role. It means so much. Thank you so much. But when our waitress doesn't back off, our gentle man takes a stronger stand. I'm a human being that has the same feelings and everything. They're just... They're... That's all. That's it. You're not king. You're not God. You're not Jesus. You're not anything. Hello, sir. This is all part of the TV show, What Would You Do? Oh, man. They're actors. We wanted to see if anyone would stand up for them. I think silence is one of the failures in people today, that when they see an injustice, 
an injustice or an intolerance that they stay silent. And that's the worst thing. Which is why our gay actress... I just wanted to thank you guys so much. ...is so personally touched by the support she's seeing. Hunter, you were acting. This wasn't real. And you're in tears. It's real for me. This is my everyday life. So when they're saying those things, they are really talking about me. So, yeah, I'm desperately touched by this, and happily so. But we wonder, what will bystanders do if our gay parents are male? Watch what happens when our waitress refuses to serve them. Please, just, I'm just saying, I'm saying what everybody here is thinking. I'm saying what everybody here is this thinking. Is just just leave. This it's disgusting. Come on. This time, no one stops her, and it appears one See? patron actually agrees. What was he thinking? I don't want to be on TV, John. You high-fived her? That was for the food. But overall, bystanders do speak up against our waitress when the gay parents are male. This is not the place for a political debate. This is a place for you to do your job and serve your tables. And those who do are extremely angry. You're the ones are disgusting. You're the bitch disturbing everybody. I'm not the only one that thinks that. You're the hate monger. A surprising show of support. What's offensive to the kids is what you're doing. You're disturbing their family. When you consider that we did the same setup in the more liberal state of New York last year. And there, out of a hundred bystanders, less than a dozen spoke up. I first thought it was none of my business. We're here to eat, and that's it. In Texas, out of 53 bystanders, 24 voiced their support. About half. You've got a beautiful family. Enjoy it now. I want to buy you breakfast. So at the end of the day, Texans have shown us another side. It's about the quality of the parent and the love that is there in the homes more than it is having a mom and a dad. Confirming that everything is big in Texas, especially people's hearts. It doesn't matter where you are. I mean, you're supposed to love people. It don't matter what color, what race, what sex, whatever. Or what state you're or in. Or what state you're in. <laughs> That's it.